G'day there again, guitar fans. Listen, it's been a couple of months since I did the first tutorial uh, with learning how to play three string slide guitar. Um, I'm glad to say that a lot of people have seen that and I've got some very positive feedback from that. So with the success of that, um, I think it's time probably to do um, lesson number two and I'm going to follow the same format that I did in lesson number one. I'm going to take my time, do it real slow and um, try and show you how to advance your skills a little bit more. Um, today it's more about techniques that I use for the cigar box guitar rather than say playing a song um, because I think once you learn these techniques you can apply it the techniques to pretty much any sort of songs but you don't even really need to have a song to play this style you can just mess around and um, just mess around with a couple of chords and a couple of patterns and you can get a whole range of different sounds and um, just vary the tempo a little bit sometimes play a bit slow sometimes medium sometimes fast and you get a whole different variety of tunes so first thing we're going to do is tune up all right right so the first thing we're going to do is tune the guitar um, the guitar's only got three strings it's got a fat string closest to my chest then there's a middle string and then there's the thin string the furthest from my chest now I use um, I use my a phone app on my uh, on my phone uh, it's a uh, one that you can download from the internet. This one that I use is called Pro Guitar Tuner. They're really useful things to have because, you know, once you download it onto your phone, you can take it anywhere with you. And it's a really good device for getting your guitar in tune. So first thing to do is to tune it. Now today we're going to tune it to G, D, G. Uh, open G, it's called. Last time I did a tutorial, we uh, we tuned it to D A D, but this time we're going to go for G D G, just to show you that um, you know how you tune the guitar also gives you a slightly different sound. Um, the open G tuning is a little bit higher in pitch than the D A D tuning. All right, having said that, let's tune the guitar. So the fat string first, which I like to refer to as the bass string, that's going to be tuned to G. So we strum that. Looking at my tuner, the green lights come on. It's pretty good, but I'll just nip it up a little bit. Okay, that's good. The middle string, this will be D. Gee, that's pretty good too. I'm not even going to change that. And the thin string, the one furthest away from me, that'll be another G. Okay, that's a tiny bit low. Just nip that up a bit. close enough so when you strum them all together we should get an open G tuning it sounds right and according to my phone app it is right beautiful so in my first lesson that I, um, I put together about two months ago. 
Um, I taught you how to play some very simple patterns um, based on the third fret, the fifth fret, the tenth fret, and the twelfth fret. We're going to do more or less the same today. The only thing we're going to do today to add to that is to also use the seventh fret. So we're going to use three, five, seven, ten, twelve. Oh, and the open, the open strum as well. That's very important to mention, radio. So, um, where we got to at the end of the last tutorial was what I'll demonstrate now. And um, I'm pleased to say that a lot of people have contacted me and said that they now have come up to speed with that little pattern and they're feeling comfortable with that and they'd like to advance a bit further. So that's really what this, um, this video is about. So what I intend to do today is uh, <clears throat> pretty much do a three phase um, lesson. So the first phase, which is what we're going to do now, will be pretty much using what we the knowledge we've got before but adding a few little things to that. So let's let's do that first. So where we were at before was the bass string. And then combining that with the melody makers, which is the, the middle string and the thin string. So that's where we got to last time. So what we're going to do this time is just add a couple of individual notes to that for phase one. So I'll demonstrate. Back to the bass string. sliding up to the third fret. So that's phase one. And what I'm doing there is just hitting the bass string, sliding into it. And then the individual note. 
notes. It's the middle string and then the outside string. So just keep practicing that over and over and over and over again, as I always say. That's how you build up your muscle memory. The more you practice, the better you get. The more you just get that implanted in your brain. Okay. Now, for phase two, we're going to learn just a little bit more over the top of that note. In other words, add a few tricks to that. Um, this time, what we're going to be doing is slide from the third fret up to the fifth fret and involve the fifth fret in that same little tune. So I'll demonstrate what I mean. So now that we've learnt phase one and phase two, we're going to go to phase three, which is learning how to put all that together, those two patterns, plus adding the seventh fret to turn this into a 12 bar blues pattern. So let me demonstrate how that goes before I try to teach you the notes.
So that's the 12 bar blues version of it. So that's phase three. So what, I, what we're merely doing there is really adding um, the slide from the fifth fret up to the seventh. Then the slide from the third to the fifth. into 12 bar blues so now that we've got that kind of all sorted just practice that practice that practice that but what I'm going to demonstrate to you in a second is just how you can take that really simple pattern and just put all sorts of different little techniques into it <clears throat> to make it sound different to add more flavor to it so um, Let's let's have a crack at that. So as I was saying, um, what I'm going to do now is just put all that together um, in a tune, and I'm going to add a lot of variety to the sliding of on the fretboard. Uh, maybe change the tempo up a little bit here and there, just to show you the variety of different. Uh, flavors that you can get out of a very simple tune so here we go I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet but we'll just see as we go along that's spontaneity isn't that wonderful mm -hmm. 